Hello everyone and welcome to the channel Magnetic Eagle. If you have wondered about that name, that's because I am an eagle, like I like to fly in real life. I've been flying in real life once already. And in the simulator of course, as you can see right here in flight gear. And then I like birds. I li really like filming and photographing them and also other animals but birds are my favorite animals like and then the magnetic is one thing because I like physics and such stuff but on the other hand because I always seem to crash into someone when we fly in groups in a simulator <laughs> so like as if I were a magnet and were attracting other metal <laughs> So I got a nickname to, to be a magnet, and nickname Magnet, so I thought why not put it two together and make that my channel name. I wanted to tell you a bit about me in this video, so I'm Frederick, I'm 18 years old, I live in France, I speak French of course since I live here, I also speak English, I really like flying in the simulator. I like programming, I like computers and cameras, I like physics, so yeah, and all that I will, I want to share with you in the future when I go flying for real or in a simulator or when I, I add something to my aircraft that I'm developing for a simulator or whatever. I want to take you with me and so Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos of me. Uh, today I want to introduce Flight Gear to you if you don't already know it. It's a free flight simulator so you can just download it and use it. Unlike X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator which you have to pay for. And also this simulator runs on Linux which is not the case for MSFS which runs only on Windows but the main point is here you can add your own aircraft make your own scenery your own add-ons and even if something in the source code of a simulator itself you don't like you can just go and change it and then it's like you want it provided you know how to do that <laughs> So that's what it means with free, it's really open source, all the aircraft are too, scenery is, everything is open source. So I really like that, I'm a real open source fan, just because you can change whatever you want and you don't have to pay for it, you see what is done with your data and so on. Yeah, let's just take a quick look here, so this is what Flaggy looks like not the highest quality settings because I have a fairly low end PC you see I'm just getting 14 FPS right here but it's usable <laughs> I hope you don't get sick from missing frames this is a Cessna 182S which is very detailed here in a simulator model and take a look at the cockpit Right here you have all the instruments, everything's there, even the window ha handle, you can open it, I close it, same goes for the door, here we go, I close it. You can even click the POH and we can the checklist, well it's not a POH, it's a checklist book of course, <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, we have everything here. We have the ELT. You can switch that on. Here you go. We have the radios. We have all the instruments. They are all functional. The yokes. The moving animated. Even the cable here, which is actually my own work. So everything's movable. Everything's animated here can see here everything that is yellow is animated and clickable. You can rotate this to adjust the true airspeed scale in order to correct for altitude when you're higher up. Here you can change pitch offset, 
So yeah, everything is animated. Let's get rid of that yellow color. Here we have some sun shades. Like that. Well, I don't think we need them right now. Just put them back up there. Uh, yeah, let's just quickly try to take off here. Release some brakes. Oh, forgot to set the flaps. Oh, there's quite a crosswind today. I'm really bad at flying crosswind. Here we go, that was quite a bumpy takeoff, but we made it. <laughs> Let's retract the flaps. Alright, here we go, we're app on. Here we go, external view. We also have a HUD. That really uh, makes flying from the outside easier and from the inside of course too because you got all the details like angle of attack, speed, throttle all much more compact than instruments and I really like flying on hard even though it's kinda cheating because you don't have that in a real aircraft right here we can look around and admire the scenery and here we ha even have water effects uh, let me turn these up. These are not not at the highest level right here. Low. It's not that high. And you can see I have disabled or set to basic or low quite a few things because my AMD card and AMD HD Radeon 7750M that's not quite a high end card so to make this simulator usable, I have to run it on slightly lower graphics, but it's okay. Alright, here we go, we have streets and railroads, we also have houses. As you can see, the textures are not quite fitting the houses because it's actually not auto scenery, you know, there are no satellite photos you see, it's just, um, I don't know how it's called, it's just gener generated a runtime from a small set of textures, so the houses don't really always fit in, but that can be added on manually, just like in X-Plane. There is no really free satellite imagery available, so the simulator has to come without it, as it wouldn't be free anymore. An open source. Um, but it can be, you can edit yourself. I'll make a tutorial on that at some point. Uh, yeah, now let's maybe get back down there. Uh, by the way, I am mouse flying, so that explains some of my bad piloting. <laughs> I don't have a joystick, sadly. I'm planning on getting some at some one at some point, but right now I don't have one and no throttle either. And mainly no pedals, which makes helicopter flying almost, uh, I would not say impossible, but really hard. Like, you can't hover in place with a mouse, that's just impossible. You can fly around, but hovering in place and doing proper landing takeoffs is, I'd say, almost impossible. Without a, without proper paddles. Alright, let's throw down here. Turn around. Oh, that's a steep turn. My passengers won't like that. Um, up here in the menu bar you can see I've got quite a few add-ons installed. Mission generator where you have to find people or a fire or whatever. Everywhere is to provide arrow towing for gliders. And we have landing challenge which rates your landings and 
a Griffin ATC which simulates ATC and we have cargo towing which is mainly for helicopters to like lift containers or trees or whatever let's put some flaps out here there you go oh we're quite high let's put one throttle to steer and then we have the wildfire add-on because yes fires are simulated in the simulator uh, I don't even know if X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator have that if they have okay but we have it too in any case and I think we, we are only one I don't think the other the paid the payware flight simulators have this and you can actually extinguish these wildfires if you have the if you use the right aircraft like a water tanker or a helicopter with a bambi bucket alright let's concentrate on landing here coming in quite high but the speed is great pull up pull up yeah a little too much there we go oh that was a bounce I'm really not good at landing this aircraft. It bounces just so much. The gear is oh, ever so soft. It's like the hardest aircraft to land without bouncing. Yeah, I also landed quite off a center line here. Okay, it was a successful flight, I'd say. It's breaky. Wow, that was quite a hard break. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's flight gear, which is the flight simulator I use practically every day. And yeah, I'll be making some tutorials and some some videos on that, and also on my other hobbies like birding. I already uploaded some videos like that, some flight gear videos, but also some bird videos like these blue tits laughing and a bar and a bear in in a well we set up a bath on barrel up in our garden and that was like my luckiest shot ever because I was like standing three meters away from it and they came and bathed and I had my camera with me and I filmed it and I'm really happy about this clip. It's really been the luckiest clip so far. Alright, and one here here we have a very rare bird which I've never seen before here which is a field fair. Excuse the poor video quality. Uh, that was filmed with my camcorder which has a really really small sensor and performs and has really really bad image quality in low light. I'm hoping to get a better camera soon but a moment I don't have the money so yeah stay tuned there will be some great content coming here soon don't forget to like subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos might also be live streaming at some point let's see yeah thanks for watching see you guys